All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I got the iPhone 16 Pro here, just came in the mail. So just like I always like to do on day one, this is gonna be a unboxing and first impressions video like I always like to do. Haven't broken the seals yet, so genuinely a true first impressions of this new device. It's gonna be very similar to my 15 Pro, I feel like, but with the bigger size and some new hardware, uh, I am kind of curious to see how I like it. So let's get this bad boy out. So as I'm doing that, uh, well, first let's do the pull of the tab. There's one. There's two. And let's shake, shake, shake. Put that to the side. And there it is. So there is the black titanium. That's what I decided to go with. This is 999. This is the 128 gig version. Uh, that's what I opted into getting. Uh, looks identical to my iPhone 15 Pro as I'm looking at it. Uh, we do get three extra colors on top of this. So we get the natural titanium, the desert titanium, and the white titanium. I actually did a poll on my channel and black titanium won by a mile. Uh, and then after that was the desert titanium. Uh, so I was really surprised. I thought natural titanium would get uh, a lot more votes, but it definitely did not. So let's go ahead and get this out. I'm going to put it to the side because I want to see what we get inside. So it looks like what they've done in the interior of the box is opted into kind of everything being very minimal looking. Uh, so as you can see here, I mean, there's no stickers now, which is kind of sucky. Uh, I would have liked to have seen some stickers come in it. I always enjoy getting those, even though I never really use them. Uh, but uh, it is reminding us that uh, there is no SIM, uh, a physical SIM. So it is all eSIM, uh, which hence why there is no SIM card ejector tool, uh, which is something that we're not getting. Uh, but with this one here, it looks like we do get that nice braided cable. Uh, it would have been a nice touch if they would have made it the color of the phone. I thought that would be kind of cool. Unfortunately, they did not, but it is a nice braided cable, which I am appreciative of. I hate the silicone style ones, and it is USB-C to USB-C as well, which is really nice. Uh, so we'll put that to the side, and uh, let's take a peek here at the phone. So as we can see here, we have that white traditional uh, cover on here. Now, one thing to point out is the difference is now there's a camera down here because we have that new camera control button or button if you will uh, but it also reminds you that the volume up and downs here the um, action button and then our power button so let's peel this off voila and then right out of the gate guys first thing i can say is it doesn't feel any bigger which i'm actually very happy about because i was hoping it didn't since it's 6.3 inches now versus 6.1 inches um, but right in my hands right now, it does not feel much different at all, to be honest with you. Maybe a little bit wider, um, but uh, but that's about it. So looks good. And as you can see here, we do have that new camera control button, which we'll be playing around with here in just a minute. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how this holds up because since it's where it's at, when I hold my phone, I tend to you know obviously put my hands there, my fingers. And so I'm afraid that there might be some accidental touches at some point, but we'll see. Uh, and then there's the bottom. Here's the side. So right out of the gate, I can already tell like a lot of fingerprints and stuff like that are already going to plague this. But if you rock a case like me, then you're not going to care about that. And then that's the top angle there. So yeah, so let's get this bad boy turned on real quick. All right, there we go. We're at that hello screen, so let me get going on the setup real quick. All right, so got the phone finally updated and ready to go. Took a little longer than I anticipated, but one thing that I wanna point out is that it did take a little bit of time. I did transfer from my iPhone 15 Pro to all this, and I will say, which I thought was a little surprising, the phone really did not get very hot to the touch, which I actually was pretty impressed about. So I don't know if that's the new A18 Pro chip doing some work there or not, but I did want to point that out that to the touch, it's very, very minimal as far as the warmth goes, where I do know usually sometimes this bad boy can get pretty dang hot. So uh, that is something I wanted to point out. So with my time playing around with this, one thing is just to point out, 
it doesn't feel any bigger than my iPhone 15 Pro in the hands. It is technically 6.3 inches for the new Pro here versus 6.1 on the previous model, but I can say in my hands right now does not feel any bigger than the previous model, which I'm very excited about because I was a little concerned when they said it was 6.3 inches. Now shrinking the bezels is really where this helped. As you can see here, guys, look how small those bezels are. They are super, super thin, which is just insane um, how thin they can get these bezels. And I'm sure at some point they're gonna get thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Now, one thing to point out about thinner bezels is something that uh, Dave2D said that is that whenever you're playing a game or something, sometimes you might do some accidental touches on the sides right here, which I don't really play games on my phone, so I don't know if that's gonna be a big concern of mine, but I do watch videos on YouTube a lot on my phone and I hold it in landscape versus portrait mode, so that might be something to report back on once I have a proper you know, amount of time with this phone. So out of the box, this comes with iOS 18, which does not actually have any Apple intelligence. Now I am on beta and I decided to continue that with this device, so I do have some Apple intelligence, but not everything. So if you are thinking about buying this phone, just keep that in mind that you will not have any of those cool fancy features that they talked about in the keynote uh, just a few weeks ago. So that's just something to think about, guys. Just want to point that out. Um, but uh, in the hand, feels just fine. Doesn't feel heavy or anything crazy like that. Now, we do get the action button here on the side like the previous Pro models did, so that's nothing too crazy. Uh, which, out of the box, as you can see here, as I push it, I can hold it to go back and forth between ring and silent. Now, if I wanna go in and remap that, I can, but uh, I usually keep it at that. Now, the other thing is gonna be this new fancy camera button here. So this camera control button, um, let's see what it does. So if I push it once, it opens up the camera, as you can see here. Now it says about the photographic styles and all that. I'll play with that later. But if I, let's just say, I don't know, let's say I got the box here. So if I push it, well, okay. So I can already tell there's gonna be a little bit of some learning curve here. So if I push the button, okay, there it goes. But as you can see, it keeps on doing the zoom here. So I'm putting my finger on it, thinking I'm pushing it. So I'm barely pressing it. And it's giving me that um, portion where it's like I'm zooming in. So if I barely press it down, then it looks like I can kind of go back and forth between zooming in and zooming out, which is kind of cool. But I can tell it's going to be a little frustrating. Um, I mean, goodness gracious, look how zoomed in that is 25 times. It's a shaky mess, though. But then I can zoom back out, go back to the 1x. Now, if I push it, there we go. But I can tell that you got to push it pretty hard. And so I can kind of see that I could see people kind of having some issues with kind of the shakiness versus just hitting the button right here. Um, I don't really see me using this a lot, but if I say double tap, let's see, I don't know. Can I do anything else with this button here? Ah, okay, interesting. So right there, if you saw, so let's just pretend, okay, I'm in the camera. So I have my finger on it and I'm holding it, but if I kind of keep it there, but I push twice, now I'm in my zoom features. I can go to the depth, exposure, my camera modes, different styles, different tones, all that. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so it's kind of similar to a trackpad on like my MacBook Pro. There's definitely gonna be some learning curve there because I can already tell like it's gonna be a little weird. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I'm a little surprised that Apple decided to do this. And as you can see just right there, like, I don't know, like it's really not meant for the folks that are gonna be doing like TikTok videos and stuff like that. So very interesting choice that Apple went with uh, doing the camera control button here. Uh, but, you know, first impressions, looks like there's definitely a little bit of some learning curve there, which isn't gonna be the end of the world. That's with any new feature on phones, you know, it's gonna take some time. So when I report back with my full review, 
in a week or so, um, I'll kind of tell you if it was any easier to learn and all that good stuff. Outside of that, guys, uh, I guess we can talk about some other new features about this phone. So we did get some new cameras as well, which is pretty nice. So what they're calling it is this 48 megapixel fusion camera. We also get a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and then also a 48 megapixel ultra wide. So that is something that's new with this phone is that ultra wide getting that higher res there as well. Would have been nice to see the telephoto lens get a better bump than just to 12 megapixels, but at least we do get the five times capability zoom like the old iPhone 15 Pro Max received. So that's pretty nice to be able to receive that considering it's going to be optical instead of digital now. Um, but as you saw when I was playing around with it, we can zoom to 25 times, uh, but uh, you can do five times if you just want to do the actual optical lens itself. So another great feature with the iPhone 16 Pro is this right here, the ability to record in 4K 120, guys. So that's huge if you are a content creator that does a lot of stuff on your phone. Now, the only thing is, is you do need to go into your settings and make sure to make that adjustment where the record video is because it's in uh, this mode here. So you have to put it in high efficiency to be able to unlock that 120. I was playing around with it and I was like, wait a minute, I know there's 120 somewhere. So you do have to put that in high efficiency there. Um, so just wanted to kind of point that out because even here, if I do in the slow-mo, 4K at 120 has to be high efficiency. So, uh, so just wanted to point that out. But one thing I love about 120 is that you can slow it down to 60 or even slower, so get 4K footage, so getting that high detail and quality, but slowing it down to get some really nice slow motion for like B-roll and stuff like that. Now, another thing that it does also have is if we go into the camera here, and I already have a video that I played around with, so if I go into the recording, then we have different things that I can do with the new audio mix here. So we can do in frame, we can do studio, cinematic. So basically what it does is it's got four studio mics now that I will be definitely playing with, but it does some sort of voodoo magic here to be able to basically, you know, cut out background noise and amplify the voice of maybe some subjects that you're recording, but there's some talking in the background. So I'll definitely be testing this in my full review. So definitely get subscribed to check that out. Now, the only other thing really, guys, to talk about is just, you know, obviously you got USB-C here. Um, you know, you can get a faster charging brick to unlock some quicker capabilities. 25 watts with MagSafe charging. So if you have a MagSafe charger, make sure you get the right proper brick to be able to fully appreciate what you can do with this. Um, but other than that, I don't know if there's really much else to talk about, you know? I mean, so like I said, for an unboxing and first impressions, that's about all I got for you for today. But like I said, stay tuned for my full review. I will be testing everything I can think of. So definitely comment down below and let me know if there's something that you would like for me to try out and report back. But uh, appreciate the time, guys. So hit that like button if you like this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.